Hello everyone, welcome to Outro Girls Plays. We're doing some Rector Beta and we're doing Fallout 2, which was suggested in a comment whilst I was playing Quake 2. If you haven't seen the Quake 2 series, by all means, go and check it out. I've never played Fallout 2 before, and I don't know why Fallout 2 was suggested rather than Fallout 1. I have played Fallout 1 a little bit, didn't complete it. So I think we just start. Now if you haven't seen the intro to this game, there's a lot of it. There's it's, cinematics to at the start of every single Fallout game, so I really recommend checking out on YouTube if you haven't seen it, because they put a lot of effort into it, and I think they're pretty good. Um, but I'm not going to put it in this video, because it's just going to... Well, it's already happened. <laughs> it's before the menu. Uh, right, so character selection. We're going to create a character. We're going to... Okay, we've got some predetermined characters. We've got Narg. Um, I've set... So my game is a... 1080 but what it's done is it's put the original aspect ratio which is 4 to 3 because this is an old game um, into the 16 to 9 ratio of a 1080p monitor so do not adjust your set this is an old screen in a big screen and hopefully it looks all right on youtube it seems to look all right for me um we've got our special characteristics so this is you know this is a precursor to fallout 3 fallout 4 obviously so if you know those games you understand some of these um some of these mechanics that we're looking at right now uh, and so these are just going to be they're going to look like the precursors to some things that you'll have seen before which is what they are exactly so narg's exceptional physique has made him one of the best hunters in the tribe narg's first and usually only impulse is to crush anything that he can't figure out to crush anything that he can't figure out narg has become quite adept at crushing and slicing and dicing narg would like to prove his worthiness to lead the tribe and he'll let nothing stand in his way now this is an interesting font that doesn't have dots on the eyes so i'm not quite sure why they made that decision but hopefully uh, nobody is having difficulty reading along and if you are having difficulty reading along feel free to pause the video uh, if I haven't read it out for you already um, but apologies there's nothing I can do about it uh, Mingan Mingan's whisper soft tread and acquisitive fingers have always that means he's a thief <laughs> I've always hated his natural curiosity his natural curiosity what's this and whose is it yoink Several years ago, the tribe decided that Mingan's talents would be best used on someone else. Since then, Mingan has been the tribe's most accomplished scout. However, the tents of nearby tribes provide little challenge these days. It's time to scout farther afield. I don't know what the plot of this one is, but it does seem to follow on from Fallout 1, which I haven't played. So, nothing to say there. Chitsa has always been able to convince others to do things her way. You know, that sounds like my, my, this one or this one is my sort of game style. Um... And you can modify them as well, so you can make them look like you want to. Uh, her winning personality and stunning good looks and weirdly bifurcated face uh, have often caused others to underestimate the tribe's best trader. In the course of her frequent journeys, Tsa has learned to deal with the perils of travelling the wastes. Two L's, so this must be made by someone who speaks British English. Um, now the tribe needs to help and new paths back in. now the tribe needs help sorry i can't read it so i'm not surprised if you can't and new paths back in to chitsa speech 70 bars so we've got uh one hander sex appeal so i think some of these are it's not going to tell what they do which is annoying but i think um some of these are for dealing with npcs well, a lot of them are uh, we've got back to narc okay so we've got one female and two males that's very common well, see if we can modify it you can save characters that's neat i like that um, okay, so we had good strength, okay perception, okay endowment, but the right stuff. Members of the opposite sex are attracted to you, but those of the same sex tend to become quite jealous. So we should be talking to blokes. Uh, one of your hands is very dominant. You excel with single-handed weapons, but two-handed... Well, yeah, we could go with this. This is what I tend to play. I think I'm going to be more comfortable with this. Take. Thank you. That one. Come in, chosen Ooh. one. FMB. There are things you must know. Oh, it's... Mama Murphy. The village is dying. What are you doing the here? signs are everywhere, withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. It's, I mean, these are expected in this this world. <laughs> Don't you think? That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It Blimey. is said it can bring life to the wasteland. That would be nice of it. Looks good. So we're on a MacGuffin hunt, apparently. I'm okay with this. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come
come back to me. We will talk more. Okay, prove yourself, rather than... Again, it's another one where you can't just prove yourself by doing the thing. Cool, right, okay, let's have a look at how this works. I noticed that it now fits the screen, um, so that's, that's good to know. The I know that in Fallout 1, the reason I stopped playing it is that you had a time limit, a maximum number of days to achieve what you're doing. Um, oh, a map, nice. You are in a dark, musty temple. The shadows seem to play tricks with your eyes, and you can hear the faint sound of movement. You can't zoom out, but we can scroll. Looks like I'm playing a Wizards of the Coast RPG or something, don't you? Uh, in inventory. Armor, item. We have no weapon. We are punching stuff. We are in combat. How does this work? This is no tutorial. <laughs> I, I guess we, we shoot the thing. Yeah, and then... Oh, right. AP3, punch. Ah! Beat it up. Do it again. You need three action points. Oh, these are my action... Okay, enter. Ha! Gotcha, loser. Pit boy not available in combat. What about my... Isn't that the point of it? <laughs> and this is... Oh! Strong kick. Yeah, we get more... We get as many of them. I think it's more likely to hit. I'll hit for three hit points. I'm going to... <laughs> Get beat. How'd you miss that? Oh, we've done it. Aren't we great? Giant ant was. This, this is the passive voice. If you don't like the passive voice, turn off now. Uh, in combat, nice. I, I got 50 exp, exp points. How do I. Do I open the door? Right, so I've read the I've read the manual. It comes with the manual. If you right click, you change from movement cursor to command cursor. So maybe we can command it to use this, for example. Incense burner. Hey, look. Yeah, over. You can look at it. Door. I can use the door, and you leg leg it to it because it's so flipping far away. Right, right. We've learned a lot. It is dark in here. Oh, okay. We we can't see it. Sort of dark. That's fine. I'm expecting to walk into a trap at any moment, so I'm going really cautiously because it reminds me so very much of Icewind Dale. Notice how we're in hexes, though, rather than... Icewind Dale is much freer, so we're actually um, more constrained than in Icewind Dale. So each tile is one AP. That's sort of what we expected. Target out range. I'll have to go to the stupid target. There we go. Kick it in the face. What an actual legend. So there's... Now three cursors, because we're in combat. You can move, you can use stuff. Or you can attack. Right. And it tells you how many APs it's going to cost you to get to the thing. There you go, you see. What are you doing over here? I wish you could see through all of this rather than just a bit nearby you. Now, why should my view as a player be constrained in this person's view as a character, right? I wonder if there's a way of highlighting things that I can interact with. That'd be really handy. Don't run to it. Just look at it. Okay, I guess we're in combat. Poisoned? Yeah, of course we're poisoned. Why would we not be poisoned? I wish I had a ranged weapon. <laughs> I'm still poisoned. I'm going to die soon. Oh, job done. Never mind, I'm not going to die yet. Can we uh, be unpoisoned, please? That I've got a... What? I've had this the whole time. But my inventory said I don't have anything. Alright, we're learning. Slowly, but surely. Um, I'd like to not be poisoned. Is it a debuff, or are we going to die? Well, the manual says that we're going to die. <laughs> I don't know how long we'll be poisoned for, because I don't know how many turns... Like, it doesn't go away outside of combat. So, what does... How long is it going to be? That's my question. What's it counted in? So, what did we do? Done. This button. So and changes this. Now you can right click on this to get this targeted icon. This will cost more AP to use. As you can see it goes throw thrust with a target throw with a target. I'll have to be careful of that. They look similar. Four to thrust. So melee combat close up. Uh, and five to thrust targeted. So that's what we know from Pit Boys in the 3D modern versions. And then throw. I guess you can do it once and then you can throw it with targeting. So uh, let's let's just let's just chill our beans out a little bit here, and hope that we survive. I wonder what range this has. I'm guessing it's melee range, and therefore I can't do it. 
I'm going to do it one at a time. In case this has a little extra range. Oh, it does. Ahead. So these are my percentages, as you know from Pit Boy stuff in the past. In the past? This is the past. In the future. The Brian. The Brian. Let's kick it in the Brian. The Lesser Scorpion was hit in the Brian for seven hit points. I haven't got enough AP to um, actually do a second one, so that wasn't ideal. Please don't do that. I've been poisoned more. Okay. 52% is my hit chance. Right. Poisoned. Look, 7 of 27. I haven't got anything to... I'm, I'm completely unprepared for this, is what I'm telling you. High fidelity, low fidelity? I don't know. Scanner. Oh yeah, the motion sensor option is not installed. Of course it isn't. Now that we understand combat a bit better, if we have to restart, we'll restart. How are you so bad at this? Why am I even trying to prove myself when I'm clearly incapable? Yeah, I do. Alright, we'll start this again. <laughs> Your life ends in the wasteland. It's got to end somewhere. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try this character again. Maybe we try... I'm going to try Narg, because now that we know it's heavily melee combat phase to begin with, I'm just going to try what looks to be the easiest character to get through that with. So we know... We know how this works now. Come on, then. I will bite your legs off. Yeah, you got got. I want to throw this. Let's try it. Excuse me. <laughs> Never mind then. Do you want to hit it? How it's supposed to be good at this? End combat. Just do that automatically when there's nothing to hit. Why don't you? <laughs> Let's get some XP. We need to level up. ASAP, my friends. Yeah, we're in combat. Let's go. So let's do two. See if I can hit this. I can. So you, you can hit it from a distance. It's just that then you get like it closes in and you die. Maybe you're supposed to move far enough away that it can't get you. Like how far can a scorpion move? In one turn. This is getting right up in my grill. I just need a little thing to do in my last AP. Can I save it? Do I? It doesn't fill up. Ah, maybe saving it is a good idea then. So it moves to me, because... Did I not get initiative? I don't know. There's probably some some things going on in the background here. Yeah, look. How good was that? Why can't I in combat? What else can I hit? <laughs> There's nothing here. I don't know why I have to do that. This is the weird thing about old games. Is... There are many more mechanics than seem relevant. Like, you shouldn't have to end combat when there's nothing alive. And if there's something alive, it should tell me where it is instead of letting me end. What's the point in having an end combat button? Just use the run away button? Or do you immediately get put back into combat? And let's see if we can beat the scorpion without actually getting completely owned. Do we even want to try? Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Talking. The door appears to be locked. Well, that's an issue, because I want it to be open. Guess we have to go this way anyway. Maybe the lever for the door is over here somewhere. Try not to get eaten by the toilet scorpions. So what I want to do is maybe take a couple of steps away. Maybe one more. So that it has to come and get me. And then... Come and get me, bro. You can't get me because you haven't got enough H XP, I AP. So I should be able to do one step away, then stab it. Oh, I can. <gasps> Don't want to risk it again. 46% chance. That's XCOM numbers. <sighs> where now? See, I'm in combat, but I don't know where the baddie is. No, I'm not in combat. It's coming out of combat. All right. I I think what happened was I used up the AP of my last turn, and then combat ended automatically at that point. That makes some sense. Not much sense, but some sense. What's this now? I see bones. Uh, come back. Oh, hello. I'm I'm busy. Can't you see? Can't you see? I'm working. Step back a bit because it's going to follow me. End turn. Oh, I had to. Oh no, it's not going to follow me. I don't understand its initiative system. Now nah, I mean. Stab? No stab. Stab? Nice. Take all. I got another spear. Okay. Can I two hand it? Probably not. 
Oh, I just realised that my other character... Is this a two-handed weapon? Is it? Is this two-handed? No, because it would be in both hands. Never mind. My other character couldn't deal with two-handed weapons, but this seems okay. Let's move. Do I have to kill everything to open the door? Oh. Alright. What is my inventory limit, do you suppose? Just end combat. Shut up. Note that you don't have enough action points to use inventory in flights. That you can use... Oh, let's just wait like old... Like old Fallout! Like all Fallouts. Uh, it implies that you can use your inventory as some action in combat, but it costs... Like in, in modern Fallout, you can just pause the whole game and eat an entire steak to get some XP back. We have... A thousand XP for the next level, and we're currently at four to five. We're only level one, so we've got to get some more stuff done. Is that all the bandits? Is this now open? No. What's in this pot? Cannot search the pot. It's got healing powder. Oh, I have healing powder in this whole time. I've learned about the skill dex button, and I've learned that you can pick locks from this button here. Oh, it worked. <laughs> you see a raised plate. Where? You raised stone plate. Okay. Can we do traps and then... Fail to disarm the trap where I have to walk around it then. <laughs> Seems right with me. At least I saw it. There's another one. Just don't stand on him. Who's building these places? Am I a trope? Don't let me be a trope. No, I don't want to be a trope. What's the aggro range on you blokes then? Oh, hello. You're attacking, are you? Giant ant mist. Yeah, of course it did. Because it sucks and I'm amazing. Ugh. Oh, that was lucky. What is this, anyway? A chasm. That's okay. It's just a chasm. It's not a chasm with a thing in it. It's just a chasm. Oh, it's a pot. Yeah. Whoa! I hope you knew that was safe. What's this? Plastic explosives. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Oh, you hold it down and you get a choice of things you can do with it. This is such a confusing interface. <laughs> we really did make games. We improved our games, didn't we, since this... I mean, I don't know what year this is, but blimey, we didn't often improve on games. Because nowadays, this exact same game, it would just be you click. <laughs> you left click or you right click there wouldn't be a thousand different things to do with each thing there'd be a menu like this anyway so you just do everything from here or something you get you get my idea these tiny giant ants are harder to hit than the giant giant ants hopefully I'm harder to hit oh you got me you, you bugger what if I like throw this at this I can't throw it unless I'm in combat, I see. <laughs> How many have you got? I don't get it. What just happened? End turn. Do that again. I assume I only had one. I only did that for a lark, assuming I only had one. Give me that back. How many spears are there? Oh, I had... Right! Pick this up, though. I did have two, and now I don't have any. It's because I had two that I could do that. Uh, I forgot and I had two. So I can throw one, and if I throw the other one, I'm unarmed. Okie dokie. I mean, it's just obvious when you say it, right? I, when I said, how many have you got? I had forgotten that the answer was two. You search the chest. Or antidote. Ah, well, I don't need it this time because I've already died, haven't I? Impenetrable door. Let's go and beat these jokers. Oh, I've got the C4 now. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you should have plastic explosives because this game currently does not feel like it's set in any sort of technological world at all, right? And yet it is. No, you're too close. 
Kill it in one hit. Four should be enough, I think. Even though there's two of them. Let's find out. Do that wind space. Now, I noticed that you can speed up uh, combat in the options. But I think we'll leave it at this speed while I get used to it. How about that? How about you hit anything? <laughs> Again, this whole trial to prove yourself thing only works if you're actually worthy of it in the flipping first place. We're just going to dance around this chasm. I can't even push him in, I bet. I only get one hit and then I have to step back. <laughs> it's silly. It's still not dead. This one you hit for 14 points and this one you can only hit for three. It's the same thing. Do your job. I'm wondering if I get more of a chance to... <clears throat> um, hit it the second time if I have a second go without moving. Do I aim better? Oh, no, I've got four of these now. Brilliant. Any traps? You fail to find any traps. More healing powder. Nice. We've got 30. What's our max HP? 44. What does healing powder do? <laughs> Give me more info. Ah, oh, very powerful. So bring the feeling of sleep to your head. Okay. You can actually click on the things in your inventory to get some information about them. Who would have thought it? Right, let's go over it. That does nothing. Hmm. Includes the timer. Ooh. Set the timer, then set it off. And there's nothing. Drop it. And then run away. <laughs> it seems to be blinking. Don't you think? Includes the timer, which is ticking. Okay. Ah, there we go. Due to your inept handling, the explosive detonates prematurely. It came with a timer. I didn't invent it. Don't look at me. Who put that timer on it and then said, calling me inept? Look at that. Right, look, I've been playing for an hour already. We've learned a lot, so I think the next episode we're going to do quite well. But I think I'm going to leave it here. Try and have something to eat. <laughs> it's quite late and I haven't eaten yet. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, even though it's been really weird. And I hope that you will join me for the next one, which should be a lot more entertaining. Please kill it. Kill it. Okay. Um, but until then, if you like the video, please leave a like on it. Rem remember to subscribe. You know, we know we like subscriptions. Um, and I'm going to throw this at this. See what happens. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, can't, can't complain about that. And I'll see you next. Hang on. Where's my other one? Excuse me? <laughs> I thought I had two of those. Uh, next time, I suppose. Oh, I've only got one. Where's my other one?